All right. I need to get Barnaby's research back from Obscurus. Ammon, it's Frank West. Yeah, look, I need your help breaking to the Obscurus base. A little busy right now, Frank. Oh, come on, it'll take what, an hour, tops? Why are you whispering? You wanna talk? Come find me in West Ridge, in the big houses. I'm off the radar. Talk later. Wait, wait, which, which house? Damn it! Oh, great. Looks like I'll be knocking on some doors. More rumors about weird shit going on in your area. Perfect for the undead gospel. Get a look if you can. On you, so you're welcome. Gonna tear you up. Yeah. Hey, Frank, I've heard rumors of survivors at the local school banding together into some kind of uh huh, uh huh, I'm with you. Intruder in our end zone, boys! You gonna take that, you <laughs> What the shit? <laughs> I'm gonna give you <laughs> that <nightmare>, bitch! <laughs> you are the worst! <laughs> <laughs>
That better buff ah! Someone's here! Gonna pop you full of lead! to do everything!
Hammond's gotta be in one of these houses, but which one? Ah, oh, shit!
saw something. Hold up. Something moving. Yeah. Yeah. Hammond, you in here? Watching us? Who can say? We gotta be careful, though. So how are we gonna clear it out, then? That's gotta be Hammond. Hey, what happened to you? Tom blamed me for the raid, even though he knew it wasn't our fault. He's insane. He's locked people in the cellar, he's banished people, he's put people on trial like he's Henry VIII. And then there's these rumors of people disappearing without a trace. Well, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna kill him. And I'm hoping you're gonna help. So what's first? There's civilians at Tom's farm. We need to get them somewhere safe. I'll take care of it. You just get me into that base. We're on it. All due respect, boss, but mounting a siege isn't exactly our style. We'll get slaughtered. Think positive, Connor. I'm positive we'll get slaughtered. Leave the base to me and Jordan. You three, focus on the evacuation. I saw a couple of buses out by the mall. We could use those to move people. Good idea. Jessa, could you get them running? Yeah, I'll work my magic. That bitch will be locked and loaded. 
Yeah, and I'll get some salvage to reinforce the exterior. Oh, that's nice. Tank bus! Connor, I need you to do something for me. Do not put me on water duty. The well's contaminated. This is high school football all over again. Come on, give me something important to do. I am. Without water, we die. We'll need enough for at least 30 people. Shelter's got a ton of bottled water. Start there. Fetch water, Connor. Pack the bags, Connor. It's like I'm the designated apocalypse bitch. Ah, Muffin. If Tom suspects... He doesn't suspect anything. If he did, we'd be dead. You willing to test that theory? God damn! I thought Tom was cool. Are you shitting me? He's a psychopath. Those galoshes threw off my judgment. I'm still processing. Where is my notebook? I need to take some notes. If I don't go back, back Tom no. will know something's wrong. What if he isn't done with you? Then I'll deal with it. You don't see bad every day. For now, let's stick to the plan. Dog ear this one. Huh. Interesting angle. Crosswalk, jackass! Good news, Frank. We have a plan that will get you into that base and get Fontana something to think about. Nice. Wait, who? Commander Fontana, the Alpha in charge of this entire operation. Oh, yeah. Blondish, hard ass. I've seen her. Uh huh. Call me when you cleared out that pool hall. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> What the hell?
The city's favorite appliance store has some of the best deals on for the holidays. Everything must go. Washing machines, refrigerators, microwaves, vacuums, washers, and dryers. You name it, we have it. But hurry, because our deals are so great they won't last. Prince Appliances, new and used, is ready for you to stock up on all your appliance needs. Really wish I had my zombie killing playlist right now. and delicious occasion. Come celebrate at Hamburger Fiefdom, where we surf you better. And even on Black Friday, we're 100% blue bonnet free. And don't bother picking up those cards, because you're in for a treat. A brain freeze a day is a small price to pay for the fun day sensation of Frosty's Frozen Yogurt and Smoothies. And on Black Friday, we'll be getting a special visit from Frosty, the local penguin. Are you tired of turkey? Hit on down the Hurley Bird who fight. Well, you will find a selection of fine, all you can eat dining that will satisfy any craving. Kids and seniors eat free. And if you bust a button, the meal is on us. The Hurley Bird who fight. Look. We got some trouble in paradise, Brad. Hammond needs my help in a coup against Tom. Huh. Let me know where that goes. Frank, my apostles say there's a mysterious cult around town, pretending to take in survivors. Okay, this sounds sort of pertinent. I don't want to know what they actually do with them. Look into it, but be careful. Ah, you freak! Another day, another pool hall filled with zombies. That's your cue to die. Get it? Cue to die? Zombie arm, quarter pocket. Another day, another pool hall filled with zombies. That's right! That's your cue to die! Get it? Cue to die? Zombie arm, corner pocket. Clear off. Oh, sit, sit, sit. Oh, 
Pool Hall is now 100% zombie free. Great. We'll start moving the people over there. I'll meet you outside the base. <sighs> this post-apocalyptic barter system is really working for me. No. Grab that package and we'll get started. Jar has it a piss poor job on this wall, so we're gonna blow it up. Look for a weak spot with that fancy camera of yours. Now set the charge and get Claire. Now get Claire, Frank. I said get Claire! God damn, not exactly subtle. You said you wanted in. You're in. Shouldn't we do something about this alarm? Not yet, so keep moving. I need to get into that control room first. This is my stop. I'll be locking the door, so don't worry about me. Okay, I've limited security access from here. I've opened the room one door over. Go see if there's anything you can use. I've got an exosuit! Wow, good for you. Now destroy the comm tower so they can't call reinforcements. Jeez, is that all? 
How am I supposed to do that exactly? You're in a robot suit. You figure it out. Fortress!
seriously get paid enough for this? One Hammond. Good luck, Frank. Give Fontana hell. All right, I need to find Barnaby's research. Brad said it'd be in some kind of intelligence lockup. Gonna need to look around. West, I intercepted another one of Vic's reports. Fine, play it. Frank is back in Willamette. And surprise, he brought his stupid smug face with him. <sighs> you know... For a second, I was actually glad to see him. I thought, finally, together we'll make some progress. Once he sees how the people are doing, he'll... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Screw that guy. You know what? I'm a little radio silence. If you like. Research facility, huh? Based off the work of the late, great Dr. Barnaby, perhaps? That's not right. Ugh, no test subject quite like a live one. Hey there, little guy. Commander Fontana has reviewed all progress on Project Saturn. No addressee. Right, because that'd be too easy.
serious brain teasers? What, are you gonna send them to college? Brad said all the stuff they took from Barnaby's lab will be in some kind of intel lockup, which is somewhere else. Okay, gotta keep looking. Smell zombies. Gotta clear them out before I can do any serious looking. Progress, finally. The new subjects are smart enough to think. Oh, I'm boned! They understand delayed gratification too. Granted, about as much as my father, but still. Is that you, Lord? Captain, what's going on? this intel lockup. God damn, there must be thousands of files here.
There we go. Barnaby's missing computer stuff. Retrieved by Recon Team Nova 6. What is that? No good. There we go. The missing files all stamped November 25th. This is part of the treatment chamber I saw in Barnaby's lab. The tag has coordinates. So they raided Barnaby's lab on November 25th. That'll be the date I need to find the right info. Alright, let's see. November... Yes! Oh, yes! You are one sexy little surveillance record. I'm gonna take you to a computer and watch you so hard. Now, let's see. Guy, how you doing? Oh, damn. <laughs> Guess you ought to be more careful next time. What happened? He got my way. Power coming on. All right. Hanson, perimeter. Copy. Vargas. Inventory. Pick your tag at Cadet. Roger that. McCall, get your head out of your ass. Power and safety. I don't want any accidents. Already on. Seizure team is inbound. They're gonna be here within the hour. I want this place mapped out, you hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. The body was cremated at 1500 hours. My seventh failure. And then... <laughs> September 19th, 2006. Dr. Russell Barnaby. This is likely my final progress report. There's been an outbreak in the Willamette Mall. I didn't cause it. I don't know who did it. I don't even know how it's possible. Containment leak, maybe? I just... I don't know. The experiment remains LC. incomplete. Conservatively, it needs another 50 years research. All the data is there, uploaded into my Good. primary storage. That's what we're talking about. Let's get it. Perhaps some smart young scientist can make use of it. Downloading. The treatment itself remains locked at 62% effectiveness. It represents the pure truth of my creation. Oh, there? Undeath, they call it. <laughs> the world has known no greater irony. Take away the decay, the bestial wrath, the failure of the mind. Ask yourself, what remains? A zombie is just a man who never tires, never sickens, 
never ages. Indeed, zombies are the key to human immortality. And yet, since the livestock angle didn't pan out, oh, these Pentagon idiots remain fixated on weaponizing the plague. Proof of that, I, too, have put in a safe place. Well, I've been summoned by an unknown agent, likely to my death. The voice was familiar. Perhaps an employee or a citizen of Santa Cabeza. If so, I must go prepared. If anyone survived that incident, and if they know my name and contact information, it's likely they blame me for what happened. Additionally, the infected population grows apace. If I was a sane man, I would stay below. But I must confess to an irrational desire to witness my handiwork. Should I become infected, I must return here and use the test chamber. A last ditch effort to save myself from the plague I created. So then, farewell. Let it be known that I fought to my last to protect life. And yet, in so doing, caused untold death. Gah! What the hell's going on? Hands! Get out of there! Move it! Move! Fontana, you don't scare me. I know who started the outbreak. It was Calder, one of your soldiers. Charlie Squad, redeploy to the basement. Flush him out. I gotta get the hell out of here. Locked! Ugh. There's gotta be a way out of here. How the hell do you obscure troops get around? What have we here? Ah, ah, it's still warm. All of our units, watch the exits. Don't let them escape. Frank, you there? What's going on? Uh, a little busy, but the Cliffs notes are that Calder asshole's got our big scoop and Fontana's trying to murder me. Wait, what? Trapped! Monster asshole! Fontana, talk later! Oh! 
steps. I don't recall authorizing your press pass. Uh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to finish Barnaby's research. Parlay zombieism into some kind of immortality treatment. I'm trying to make a mint off a bunch of aging millionaires. That was the plan, but I guess immortality isn't as profitable as cheap labor. What? At first, the client just wanted to exploit Dr. Barnaby's research, but then these things, these smart zombies started showing up and the mission changed. Pacify, domesticate, and train. You plan to make soldiers, aren't you? You're gonna make some kind of undead army. Are you out of your mind? You think anyone's gonna set these things loose with a gun? No. No, the plan was coffee farmers. Really? Oh, well, there is a lot of money in coffee. Or manufacturing, or meatpacking, or, or fucking fruit, I don't know. Peanuts. Peanuts are hard to harvest, just a thought. Cheap, unskilled labor exported to whoever's buying. It's all about this with these guys. Yeah, and who are these guys? You are, Frank. Assuming you pay your taxes. Oh! 
Montana! Hey! Pretty self-sacrificing for a mercenary. Wolves take care of their back, West. Obscurus had what I needed, so Hammond took a break from planning a revolution to help me bust into the base. Okay, we may have left the front door open behind us. The carnage was, well, let's just say they got what they deserved. I learned Obscurus was using Barnaby's research to create zombie slaves, which is multiple shades of gross. And Calder? Here's a good one. Stop me if you've heard it before. An exosuit and a zombie have a baby. It's large, angry, and has the data I need to crack this thing wide open. 
And I need it now more than ever. Because with Fontana dead, there's no way to prove that this whole thing is the government's handiwork. And that's the punchline. <laughs>